hello everybody welcome back to my channel what I'm going to be doing today is my first perm rod set on my natural hair on freshly washed hair what I will be using is the cremination Oregon oil foamy mousse a bottle of water and my Jamaican black castor oil so let's get started um, I have my hair sectioned in four sections. I'm going to apply a little bit of the castor oil on my hair first. Make sure I got the ends really well. Smoothing it in really, really well. Then I'm just going to make an even smaller section. Pin the rest out of the way. And get my little comb. You want to make sure there's no tangles in your section before you put your roller in. So now what you're going to see me doing is putting a little bit of the foam mousse into my hand, applying it to the section of the hair, and I'm just going to even make that section a little bit smaller. Comb it out again. I have my mousse, and then I guess I need to comb it out really well. Starting with my roller, get it all the way down to the ends, and just wrap it all the way up to the roots and then click it in place. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the very next section. Just put a little bit more of the product in my hand, combing all the tangles out, if there's any left that is. A little water on the ends and then with my roller, roll it all the way up on the very ends there and just wrap it all the way up to the very end. And then I'm just going to repeat these same steps on the very next sections. So I am back. It is time for the moment of truth. Let's see how these came out. At the end of the day, I ended up putting these on any old kind of way. So let's see. Okay, it's nice, it's fluffy. Okay, so far so good. Do a little bit on this side. Okay, I think I'm gonna like the way it came out. So, let's get them out and then we'll get them flipped.
Okay, so there are a few that are not 100% dry. So what I did, I hit them with a diffuser a little bit because I gotta get ready to get out of here. So let's see what happened. Ugh. Okay. So the ones that are still damp, I'm just not gonna separate. I will separate the others. But the ones that are wet, see what I mean? Maybe I just had too much product on that area. Because everything else is like five or six pieces that are, ah, look at that. Everything else came out so pretty, guys. So just act like you didn't see that piece, okay? Just, just pretend it's not there. We're gonna have to camouflage that or something, you know what I mean? Back here, still a little damp. I'm just not gonna separate it. And there's one in the very center. Oh, that was okay. So there's really like two that I'm not doing. I had a little a couple traders in the camp there, but we'll fix that later. So what I'm gonna do is try and separate the ones that are all dry, which is the majority of them. So I'm just gonna put a little oil on my hand. Just a little bit. But overall, I am loving the results, guys. I mean, they are so pretty. And very soft. So I'm just gonna separate them in two. I mean, look at this. How pretty these are. that I used, you guys know, was this um, Cream of Nature Oregon, Oregon Oil. And let me just say, the shampoo and the conditioner do me no justice anymore. I don't know what it is. It, My hair feels hard. I used to use it all the time when I was relaxed, but for some reason on my natural hair, that shampoo and conditioner, I just can't deal with it. But that mousse, oh yeah. So that would definitely, um, Stay something that's current for me unless something changes. And I hope not because these are some really beautiful results. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back once I'm done refluffing this area up, okay? And we'll look at the, all the finished results. So don't go nowhere. Okay, everybody, I am back. These are my final results using Liquid Gold Cream of Nature with Oregon Oil from Morocco Style and Shine Foamy Mousse. This is the bomb. I have a couple areas, as I mentioned earlier, that are still wet, so I don't wanna mess with them too much, but these are my final results. Um, I also followed up with their um, hum anti-humidity gloss and shine mist. <sighs> Guys, really? I mean, it, it smells really good, first of all, but the shine, how um, soft it is, I mean, it just looks really, really good. Let me turn around so you can see the bag. Now, mind you, I don't want to fluff up too much because some areas are still damp, so I don't want to mess with them. Hey, gets two thumbs up for me. This is this is awesome. So I just wanted to come with something different. If you all are interested in seeing more videos with me just doing uh, different types of mousses, I'm going to get different size prom rods. Um, but yeah, I really, really loved the results. It was time for a change. So I'm glad I did it. Hope you all like it. So please comment in the bottom. Um, and if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please do not forget to thumbs up the video. Definitely subscribe and please share. So you all stay blessed. I will see you on the next one.